What's up, Op Squad? Welcome back to another video. We're playing some Raid Shadow Legends again today. How are you guys doing? Good to see you all. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And today, our topic is going to be four foundational uh, tips I want to give to every new beginner out there who's playing Raid. I have a lot of people who come through the stream and say, Hey, I'm new. What should I do? What should I do next? Like, and I will will say it this raid in the beginning, it doesn't seem like an overwhelming game, but it's easy to get stuck in this game. And it's easy to feel like you can't get anywhere because you don't have the right champions. You don't have the right gear. You don't have the right this, the right that and all these things. So I'm here to give you new raid players some tips so you can know what to do, know why you're doing it and continue to progress so let's get started so my first tip for any new raid players would be to pick kale as your starter now why do we want to pick kale as our starter well kale is out of all the starters he is the best one uh, why because he has poisons and his poisons make him super effective one because poisons are super strong just in general uh, but they're especially strong against bosses especially clan boss uh, i was using kale and my clan boss team and he was doing some decent damage early game kale's gonna help you out a lot he does good damage with his aoe's and also this attacks four times at random which is super important as well and so he has those two good aoe attacks and most importantly kale has poison now as a beginner i wouldn't say to worry about bosses or dungeons or clan boss and all these things because these things will come later on but you still want to pick kale in preparation for those things because if you don't pull any good poisoners out of your shards that you get then you're gonna have an issue getting good rewards from clan boss and progressing in clan boss so kale is a good starter champ the best starter champ to pick for you in the beginning if you just started raid if you're a couple days in you pick someone else that's okay but you can restart just restart the game and just pick Kale this time. Kale is awesome. He's the man and he's going to help you progress later on. He's It's like an investment kind of. He, he matures as you go along in the game. All right. The second tip that we're going to talk about is six star your starter. So many people just don't know what to do in the beginning when they first start this game. Hey, what should I do next? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This is all I hear. And the first step, the first thing you should do when getting broken into Raid Shadow Legends is six star your starter. Why is this important? One, because it's going to make him very strong. And your start, you can see here that I six starred my Kale. I do not use my Kale anymore, unfortunately. You know, because I love Kale and he was my starter and he got me through so much. But that's because I have other champions now that help me and take the place of Kale and they do better than Kale. So, six star your first champion. This is not only going to help you progress as far as the campaign goes, which will be our next tip, but we'll get there. But this will also, this will also teach you. Just how long it takes to make a six star. And that's the a huge thing in this game is like it's a really grindy game. And if you don't like super grindy games, then this might not be the game for you. Honestly, not in a bad way, but making six six star champions, especially Kale, since you have to start her from level three and take them all the way to six, takes a long time and it takes a lot of energy to just six star any champion because after kale you're going to keep six starring more and more champions you could tell here in my champion pool just how many six star champions i have that are also ascended you want to also ascend your starter champ as well and every good champ 
that you get. You want to ascend them. So that's tip number two. Do it. Get your starter up to six stars. And that's going to teach you just how much of a grind this game is. And it will be very helpful for you. And yeah, let's uh, go to number three. All right. Tip number three for you beginners is to progress as much as you can in the campaign. Now, why do I say this? Well, because every map, for one, has its own set of armor. And this is how in the early game you're going to get the sets of armor that you desire. Aside from things like the battle pass or like the free armor sets that you get in the beginning of the game, which are also very good. But if you need specific sets of armor, for example, like speed sets, accuracy sets for your poisoners, crit rate sets are going to be important as well to use. Then you're going to want to complete the campaign so you can actually do what we call farming these sets. And that's when you say go to a go to the stage and then or the level and there's stage one. And that's where you get the the uh, weapon. That's where you get the weapon. And so that's where you want to farm this weapon. And you also get other miscellaneous drops as well, which is good to get like rares from maps and things like that because you could use them as food. And there's also other good rares. For example, over here we have, I passed it, War Maiden. She's an excellent rare for early game. I recommend farming for her trying to get her and we also have where is she at she is here we have spirit host which is also really good early game and i made a video on an early game arena team what i think is the best early game arena team and spirit host and war maiden are part of that so not only do you get your sets and good rares from the actual stages but you also get these rewards down here uh a hundred thousand silver 50 gems xp brews you get a void shard you get shards from beating campaign and this is the same for each difficulty on hard you get a sacred you get even more gems even more silver and the nightmare is crazy you get like 200 gems 3 million silver a sacred five, uh, three rank five chickens. It's awesome. It's good to progress in the campaign because you get good rewards and you can farm your gear. All right, guys, this is the final tip. We're talking about shards. Now, in the beginning, people are either hesitant or they really want to pull all of their shards. In the beginning, I would personally say i would personally be on both sides because on one side you as a starting account need more champions in your pool so you want to pull for them you want to pull these shards you want to get as many champions as you can and i really believe in that but on the other side i also would say you want to save your shards because there are two x events that happen as well and the only downside to that is if you start playing and you just missed a 2x event then you're going to be waiting a long time for the next 2x event and like you want to be pulling your mystery shards which is fine mystery shards are fine i mainly pull them now for food but saving your ancients voids and especially saving those sacred shards will help you more in the long run now i personally have a bad habit of just wanting to yeet the shards we say yeet 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 we just do it sometimes i mean i'm just in a mood where i'm just like all right we're pulling all of them and i even buy more ancients so i do that now but i have also pulled a bunch of the necessary champions that i need so i'm more comfortable with doing it so and my general advice would be for you is to wait as long as you can progress as much as you can with what you have and if you want to pull an ancient or a void or a sacred here and there, you don't have to hoard them all. Some people do and it pays off. I know a guy that saved all his sacreds and waited for a 2x sacred event. And I pulled his shards for him, but he got like five legendary champions. It was crazy and they were good legendary champions. So with that being said, it's obviously up to you. In the beginning, you need those good champions to help you maybe one, two, three, 
decent epic champions or even a good rare champion like apothecary Apot you can only pull apothecary out of shards so maybe if you just kind of saved your voids and your sacreds but popped a few ancient shards here and there as you got them there you go or if you want to spend some money obviously you could tell i'm broke as a joke right now i i don't have no silver i have a decent amount of gems but still you want to be able to have those champions but you also want to be at a point to where even if you do pull them uh you can farm up food for them good and be in a right position to train them up so that would be the fourth and final tip for you guys all right everyone i hope you enjoyed those tips i hope those tips helped you if you have any questions please 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 comment on the video i will try my best to answer any and all questions you guys have and i know in the beginning it's hard i was i i was held by the hand in the beginning by viewers of the community on twitch telling me and helping me along the way and telling me hey this is going to be the best decision so i know how hard it is to start a game like this so if you have questions let me know and i'll see you in the next video